Hello everyone, my name is Binks and welcome back to Let's Play The Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve Where we're continuing in the third case of the game Um, I forgot something about the Great, de great Departed Ugh, what was it? Uh, The Return of the Great Departed Soul Sorry, <laughs> couldn't remember there we go. Uh, we are now in the Lord Chief Justice's office to confront or speak to Strongheart, which I'm like, ugh, I don't remember what voice I gave him. It's been forever, literally, since I've speaking, speaking. I can't even talk. Uh, since I've uh, wow, spoken to this man. Like my brain was like speaking, spoke spoke speech speeched <laughs> brain was like what is english what what words what be words <laughs> oh wow it is hot y'all so if you hear the fan i'm sorry but if you've been uh subscribed to me you should know by now i know use ac we know have ac we have one per floor and we never use them because it's expensive and we don't have money <laughs> and now with our electrical issue uh yeah that's never that's not gonna happen anyway we, it's probably not even gonna work considering our heater doesn't work so yeah um anyway we have fans It's been about six months now since I was last here. It, it's probably been that long since I talked to this- no, it's probably been longer since the last game. So that was, what, a year or two ago since I last played that one? So, yeah. But some things never change. Like the sense of foreboding I always seem to feel in this place. Ah, she looks like an actual little ten-year-old. She looks so cute! Adorable. It doesn't seem to be bothering Iris at all, though. She's happily reading over there. Aww. At least she has moments where she's an actual child. How oh, I love this place! I always find so many interesting books here. It just freaks me out thinking that they don't have, like, a railing and that they could easily just fall down, you know? Like, isn't there, like, this big opening gap there between them and the bookshelf? I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. I could be wrong? I don't know. That's how- just- that's just how it looks. Maybe not. Maybe- maybe it's flushed to the bookshelves, but then beyond that, I think there's the big open gap. I don't know. I just hate the- the design. Big clock tower, big opening into nothingness. Of course, I was forgetting that you've been here before. The time we came here six months ago. When Susato-san was given the news that she was to return to Japan. Oh, I don't know, just big deep British voice, I guess. I, I don't know. There's so many male characters here that I would give that voice to that I'm like, eh. I don't know. He's probably going to sound like some other dude. Oh, I wish- I understand you wish to speak with me. Damon Gant looking ass. <laughs> Sorry. Even the music kind of reminds me. I don't remember Damon Gant's music per se, but it's just everything about him reminds me of him. He's just a bit younger and a bit more handsome, I guess, but also not. He, he just... yeah. Oh, Lord Strongheart. I trust you've been keeping well. Let's see. Since you arrived and requested an audience... It's been four hours, 32 minutes, and 
26 seconds. I've kept you waiting a while. My apologies. Damn, that's a long time. Oh, no, not at all. I like nothing more than standing around, staring into space. Good to know. Good to know that doesn't appear to bother him at all. Male Strongheart, Lord Chief Justice of London. He's the man who allowed me to start practicing as a defense lawyer when I arrived in Britain as a student. You need only savor the air for a moment in this grand office to understand his preeminent status. As you would be aware, the Great Exhibition of London is now underway at last. We're extremely busy as a result. Polis- Polis- Wow. Policing the grounds, guarding the new technologies, dealing with petty crime. And furthermore, as of next month. Actually, I was supposed to give him an accent, but you know what? I, there's so many people with accents that I'm not going to, so forget it. We shall open the International Forensic Science Symposium. Oh, I've not heard about that. Investigating authorities from 40 countries around the globe will be taking part, including from your own land. Forensic science is the future. The world must embrace it. As we're the hosting nation, they have much to do. Honestly, not giving him an accent is fine because even though he is like the leader and like head of a British whatever, um, his name feels so German. So I just feel like it's kind of suitable, <laughs> in my mind, to not give him a British accent. <laughs> like, the name male, to me, feels feels like another European name doesn't feel British. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Do you, do you think that the his, his background is... It's almost like with Von Zeeks, right? They, they both, like... They feel more German than British to me. But I guess I guess it doesn't matter in this kind of game, right? Eh. As we're the hosting nation, I have much to do. And it is my highest priority. If others must wait for my attention as a result, so be it. Because for Von Zeeks, you know, I'm, I'm not giving him a British accent either, so... <laughs> well, it's nice to know where I stand. So, you wish to consult with me? Of course, I can very well imagine what this is about. Ah, well, um, thank you for agreeing to this meeting, my lord. I want to be allowed to start working as a defense lawyer again in court. That's what brought me here today. Oh, and actually, there's something else playing on my mind as it happens. You know, just take a deep breath and come out with it. Okay. Uh... Should I look around? I mean, I've been here before. Oh, I've just had a great idea. What is it? We could hide inside these seats of our and spy on the fob watchmaster to find out what he's really like. He's right there. <laughs> I don't have much interest in what Lord Strongheart is really like, though. Please, it would be fun. You could be inside the left one and I go in the right. You really want to have a go in a suit of armor, don't you? Ha! Huh. Now you're making fun of me because I'm a child, aren't you? I wasn't making fun of you at all. I'd like to have a go too, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. 
You couldn't read all these books even if you were reincarnated three times over as a bookworm. Oh, I know. So much reading material. Oh, she reminds me of Pearl. This little expression right here is cute. I'm very envious. I've really been running out of things to read recently. That's because you read so fast. Perhaps little by little I could swap some of the books here with some of mine from home. I don't see why not. No one would notice, or at least I wouldn't, even if I was reincarnated three times over as a librarian. <laughs> don't encourage her. The cogs of the giant clock are keeping time as usual with their steady rhythmical notion motion. It's really quite disturbing how little sound they make considering their massive size. Someone very brilliant must have designed it, and whoever maintains it must be very talented too. But I'm not entirely convinced it's even a clock. What? But what about the huge clock face that forms the window over there? Some people just make machines that move for the fun of it, because they enjoy watching them. Rather like how Shirley makes his rumbling deductions just for the fun of it. Even if the outcome isn't quite right. Never mind all the trouble it gets others into along the way. <laughs> okay. The Lord Chief Justice's desk. When you look at that, there's no mistaking Lord Strongheart's authority, is there? Sick my authority. <laughs> I haven't thought about South Park in a while. So there's a, a new game that they announced that's like a, a sequel to the, the other two that I played on this channel. And I kind of want to play it because I love the, the games, but it's a different style. Like, not just visually, but also like gameplay wise. I think it's like, um, it's one that I think you have to play online with others or something. And I'm like, oh, don't tell me it's one I can't play on my own because that kind of ruins it for me. Why would they do that? Don't they know there's people like me who are like loners and, you know, let's players? Like, come on now. I have to look into it to see if, if it's possible to play it on your own. Unless they specifically did it so that people can't let's play it. <laughs> Maybe they got tired of people let's playing and they're like, no, we only want people to, you know, have to play it for fun and not cover it on their channels. Because that sucks, man. Because there was, like, people like Jacksepticeye and, and, you know, who really brought a lot of attention to those games for them. But I guess they figure, oh, let's players covering it makes us lose money. Because other people are not going to buy the games for themselves if they're watching it. But that that sucks. I don't like that mentality. They don't realize that a lot of people actually will buy and play the games for themselves after watching it. So, eh. I don't know. But the light from that window behind is far too bright. It would be very bad for the eyes. I hadn't thought of that. There are no curtains, that's for sure. What's more important? Having a desk with an air of authority or having eyes that work? Can't say I'd ever considered it. After all, my little office barely has any light to speak of, and I haven't really seen my desk in a while. All gonna be the same on this side, probably. Yeah. See this this big blank nothingness over here. All right. Is there anything we could present to this man? I guess these two things. I should have presented some stuff to Sherlock. Dang it! I didn't think about it. Uh, by the way, Lord Strongheart, about this. Is this how we bring up uh, us coming back to being a defense attorney? I didn't even look at our talking topics. The symbol of a defense lawyer in the Japanese judiciary. Oh, uh, I didn't expect you'd know that. 
We never accept foreign students before first researching the legal systems of their home countries. But such trinkets are merely for show. The only true measure of your worth is your performance in court. Yes, right. Okay, uh, let's present this. Oh, that reminds me. Have you seen this? The reports of the overwhelming success of the Great Exhibition? Of course. No, no, not that. The story on the back page. What story? Yeah, tell us about this. Is Von Zeke's okay? The Reaper attacked. Huh, that. You've enjoyed some victories in court against my number one prosecutor, have you not? Poor Mr. Reaper. What happened to him? He... he wasn't killed, was he? There's no need for concern. Lord Von Zeex would not be so easily dispatched, I assure you. Can you tell us what happened? I'd really love to know. Very well. If it interests you. It does, strangely. Despite him being a racist jerk, he's actually, uh... I don't know. He's not all bad. Permission to work. And that. Oh. And yet I don't see anything about Von Zeke's here. Okay. Hmm. Actually came here today to ask for your permission. Go on. Six months ago, my right to work in court as a lawyer was revoked and I was told to spend my time studying. Obviously, I'm very sorry for what happened, but the thing is, it made me understand what it really means to defend somebody under the rules of a foreign justice system. And I desperately want to have another go. Please, permit me to enter the courtroom again. Mr. Noruhodo. Yes. Uh, here it comes. I'm sure you haven't forgotten your position here, have you? At best, you are a substitute for your compatriot. This was never your intended role. Uh, well, that's true. The Japanese government actually sent my best friend on this study tour, not me. It should have been Kazuma. He was so determined to bring change to our own justice system at home. That was his calling. Talk to me about Kazuma. This is a huge, huge mystery still. Oh, my beloved. It makes me so sad every time I see him. It really does. Like, I don't know, like... I guess because when we lost Mia, we still got to see her as a ghost, and it, it was sad, but like, I don't know, it didn't hurt me as much as Kazuma's does for some reason. Maybe it's because, I don't know, maybe it's because with him, it felt so senseless. Like, it was such a- it was a misunderstanding, right? With Mia, it was- at least it was like because she was trying to stop a bad guy and, and then we got justice for him- for her against a jerk, right? With him, it was such a, a sad tragedy that didn't have to happen. It was an accident, right? And it was like, oh, that, that's so sad. Like, if only, if only, you know? Like, those kind of deaths really hurt. Like, if only his friend hadn't eaten the chicken and been unconscious. If only the girl hadn't done this and, like, ugh, that, that really hurts. If that tragic accident hadn't happened, I wouldn't be here in this office now. Mr. Asogi was my best friend, you see. That's why I can't leave it unfinished. 
I have to fulfill his calling for him. Hmm. His calling, you say? Has it never occurred to you? That perhaps you know nothing of his true calling. Yeah, and that's the other thing. I want to know more. Sorry? The mission with which that young law student was charged. What do you suppose it really was? What, what do you mean? Mission? He's not making any sense. Tell me, dang it. Never mind. No, tell me. I've read all the reports you've submitted over the past six months. It's clear to me that you regret your actions and have been studiously obeying your revised instructions. D do you mean... As of this moment, I reinstate your license to practice law here in Great Britain. And what? You're just gonna let it go? You're not gonna push him? Pursue? Be like, dude, no, please, just tell me more about the mission. God dang it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know you're getting what you want and you probably don't want to jeopardize that, but like, come on, man. Oh, that's wonderful news, Reno. In fact, I believe I have the perfect case to mark your comeback. A curious affair. You'll consider it, I hope? Of course. Please, tell me more. Hmm, okay. He's probably gonna throw us right into the hot frying pan, you know? He's like, oh, you... You silly, silly boy, I can use you. I can use you. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to get ourselves into a hot mess, aren't we? You described it as a curious affair. Yes, that's right. I believe it was reported in the press. Are you aware that there was a serious accident at the Great Exhibition today? Or yesterday? Oh, no. Yes, I read about it. A professor from Germany tried to carry out a crazy experiment. Let me see, how was it described? Super high voltage instantaneous kinesis, I think. Instantaneous kinesis? As in, moving things with a click of the fingers? That's right. It's just what my elbow blends need. A dash of devil may care. Whatever this serious accident was exactly, it's clearly captured Iris's imagination. It's an unfortunate business. A large explosion engulfed the public experimentation stage, and a man lost his life. A certain Mr. Odi Asman. Odi As... Odi As... Asman? Asman? <laughs> He a ass man, he a booty, he got man booty, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> odious, odious man, is that what that's supposed to be? Hmm, if so, I'm already calling the pun name, y'all. Odious man, huh, if that's the case, then I'm gonna say... Then the victim probably ain't no innocent man, if that's if that's the case. I mean, he did look rather rich and pompous looking, so... But that's me judging a book by its cover. I don't want to do that. But Odie Asman. Odie Asman. I don't... Now that I've seen Odie Asman. Odie Asman. Oh, God, it's hard... Odious men. God, how do how do I pronounce it without saying odious men? Odious man. That is hard to pronounce. Mr. Odie, odious man. <sighs> odious man. Like, how would you pronounce it without putting it together? Because that's really tough. 
Mr. Odie Assman. I mean, Assman. <laughs> That's really all I could do. That's really hard. Assman. <laughs> Mr. Assman. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so immature. But also, it's really hard. It's a hard name to... Because it's not a... Asman is easier to say if without saying ass man. You know what I mean? Hmm. An investor and a well-known figure in society. A large explosion? A, a man died? The man responsible for the experiment was Professor Albert Harebrain. Oh, hairbrain. Gotcha. <laughs> well, he did seem rather, uh, ditzy, uh, clumsy, goofy, all those, uh, hairbrained. Yeah. He was detained immediately after the incident and is due to appear in court tomorrow on the charge of murder. What? Murder? If you intend to take on his defense, you should hurry to meet with him at the prison. There is very little time left for you to carry out any kind of investigation. As usual, you never give me enough time, dang it. The Great Exhibition. A scientific experiment gone wrong and... Murder. Gosh, always murder. I feel out of my depth before I've even started. Still... We should go to the prison straight away, then, and try to meet with this German professor, don't you think? Poor Iris. You just wanted to go to the Great Exhibition and look around, and now you don't even get to really have fun. Definitely. Oh, yes. One more thing about the case. There's a connection with our mutual acquaintance, the Reaper. Oh, with Lord Von Zeeks. How? Now we get to talk about him? Okay. Well, first, let's talk about this Forensic Science Symposium. All sorts of conferences have been taking place around the world to coincide with the Great Exhibition. And next month, the largest and most important of them all will take place at last. The International Forensic Science Symposium. It does seem as though criminal investigation needs to embrace scientific methods, doesn't it? Exactly. Ah! Uh? London, the global epicenter of culture, science, and wealth, now has a population exceeding six million. Sadly, crime in the capital is growing at a similarly startling rate. So, it's imperative that we use the latest scientific methods to investigate and resolve cases as efficiently as possible. Which is why, uh, which is what's known as forensic science, isn't it? Exactly! The future of policing. Ah! <laughs> Starling. Regrettably, however, Britain is currently dragging its feet when it comes to the adoption of forensic methods. Oh dear, that's alarming. Exactly! It's extremely alarming. Exactly! <laughs> Sir, calm down. Ah. I Iris, calm, calm down, honey. If I were Her Majesty's Atten Attorney General, you can be sure... The numbers of crimes committed and resolved in London would be very different to the current figures. Is that your goal, then? You want to be made Attorney General? And I can cite 12 solid arguments and 223 individual reasons to support my claim. Sorry? By way of apology for keeping you waiting earlier, I shall detail every one now. Sir, we don't have time for that. What? Oh, how fascinating! 
Oh, I think my game froze. Oh no. Okay. Uh, my game and my recording literally both just froze for a second. Oh! Oh, oh. I think they froze because he literally was gonna... <laughs> he started... He literally... It started auto-scrolling. Okay. Oh my god, he literally did that to us. Sir? How do you have time for this? And that more or less sums up my feelings on the matter. In the simplest of terms, of course. Wait. It all began 15 years ago. I was... Sir? Are you for real? Damn. I think their souls left their bodies. <laughs> wow. It literally froze my game and everything. Like, sir, you broke my game for a second. Stop. Essentially, to formally establish a forensic investigation division within Scotland Yard. That is my mission. Bruh. Uh, oh, um, right. Yes, that's wonderful. Oh god. Did I, did I fall asleep standing up? Oh. Exactly. Wonderful is precisely what it will be. <laughs> oh, she got to get away with it because she's a little girl. That's not fair. Meanwhile, poor Ryonosuke had to stand there still as a statue, pretending to stay awake and pay attention the whole time. <laughs> He's like, damn you, Iris. <laughs> Iris isn't paying attention at all. She's got her nose in another book now. Is it over? Did you learn anything useful? I actually drifted off for the most part. He's surprisingly ardent about forensic science. You're lucky he didn't hear you say that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Damn, bro. Fortunately, Lord Von Zeeks emerged from the attack unscathed. Street ruffians are no match for that man. He's a very capable fighter. But but that's incredible. They were armed with guns. Have you seen John Wick? He's like that. <laughs> Why was he attacked, though? Do we know? It's related to events that occurred a month ago. A leader of one of the capital's criminal organizations was indicted and prosecuted by Van Zeeks. But the man was acquitted. Oh, he was acquitted. I've no doubt large sums of money were involved behind the scenes. Large sums of money. A deplorable situation. Members of the jury were bribed, it seems. However, despite winning his freedom, the man in question met a dramatic end yesterday. But... but you're not suggesting that was the work of the Reaper, surely? The victim's henchmen certainly seem to think so. He was a man. Oh... Got it. So the victim of our case was the one who was acquitted. Ah, so he is an odious man. Ah, it's all connected. He was a man by the name of Esmin. Odious, Mr. Odiousman. Did, did you say Esmin? That's the man who died in the big explosion at the Great Exhibition. Yes, known publicly as an investor, but in reality, the head of a significant criminal organization. Unbelievable. I wonder... Oh. I wonder, could I ask you something, Lord Strongheart? Try me. Why do you use Lord Von Zeeks as a prosecutor? 
All the criminals who manage to get off in court then meet with mysterious ends outside the courtroom. And fearful of that fate, they seek to strike at Lord Von Sieg's first. I know there's no evidence that he actually is the Reaper in that sense, but still... Something's clearly going on here. I have Von Sieg's work for the prosecution service for two reasons. Firstly, the man is the best prosecutor in the capital, bar none. And secondly, any deaths of criminals that have occurred outside the courtroom following his trials are nothing to do with him. But that doesn't make sense. How can you explain the way so many have died if not by someone's hand? Von Zix may have earned himself the moniker of the Reaper, but he is no killer. So he will continue to prosecute on behalf of the Crown. But someone is clearly framing him or putting this title on him. And it's like, why haven't they tracked down that person? Why is he willing to continue to prosecute? I mean, he did stop for a while and now he came back. But someone is putting his life at risk by doing this, you know? I kind of feel bad for him because he has this reputation and all that. It's like, maybe he's doing it because he feels like he has an obligation or something. There's a big mystery, of course, going on here. Um, I would honestly feel like, bruh, your life is clearly at risk here. And I know you have clearly have a reason for continuing to prosecute because you feel like you have to put criminals behind bars or whatever. But like, dude, if you don't figure out who's doing this, then I don't know. Is it really worth it? Hmm. Unless he wishes otherwise, of course. Damn. Well, I must be leaving for my next engagement. I'm already 11 hours and 16 minutes late. My colleagues may be starting to fidget. Bro, what is going on? You're normally very punctual, so... Today is off. Like, you were 4 hours late with me. Now you're 11 hours late for them. Plus, you wasted so much time talking to me about your whatever. Something's off with him. Uh, 11 hours late? That's quite something. That meeting had already started when I arrived back here for this engagement with you. So lateness was inevitable. Time stops for no man. I'm sure it stopped for me during those 12 solid arguments and 223 reasons. Yeah. Oh, yes. Where would I find Lord Von Zeke's now? I would assume he's at his office. Right, I'll go and ask him about the attack in person. I want to get this straight from the horse's mouth. Away with you now. I'm leaving pros uh, Professor Herbrain's defense entirely in your hands. That's an interesting close-up image of him. <laughs> Super close-up. Uh, of course, yes. Thank you very much, my lord. I'm still not sure if he's the bad guy, like I was saying. He seems... He's still... He's not keeping... I mean, he's kind of keeping things from me, but he's been alluding to it, right? The stuff about Kazuma and his mission. But I kind of blame Naruhodo for not following through. Like, he brings it up. He's like, oh, you don't know about it? And then Naruhodo is the one who's failing to be like, oh, what's going on? Tell me more. Like, he doesn't pursue it enough. So I kind of feel like that's on Naruhodo for not being like, hey, tell me more. What's going on? You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> you know? <laughs> He's dropping the hints. Why don't you pick it up, bro? <laughs> like, come on. You gotta meet him halfway. So, yeah. 
and he is giving him the opportunity to work again pretty pretty simply pretty easy all you had to do was what they told you to do you did it uh you asked for it and he's just given you the opportunity to work again so he's not that bad um and i guess he's not really forcing uh von Ziegs. he said hey if, if he wants to stop working he can um I don't know. And he does want to keep uh, working. Uh, he wants to use forensic science to, to help catch these criminals. So, I don't know. Maybe he's someone who's doing bad things with a good reason. Like, he has good intentions. Maybe he's one of those kind of villains. So, it's hard to say. I still have a weird vibe from him. I don't fully trust him. But I also don't know yet if he's a bad guy or... Maybe my senses are wrong. Maybe I'm just judging him just based on his aura and based on his looks. Just because he feels very gantish doesn't mean he is. Um, so we'll see. I, I'm intrigued still. I still think there's more to the story there, of course. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, I think this is a, a good place for us to leave it. I'm dying for us to go talk to Von Zeeks. But uh, I think we'll leave that for next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.